Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is indeed a choice to rejoice. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. We're here every Monday through Friday, releasing fresh content for uh, all of God's amazing people. So, of course, I thank you for uh, spending this time with me. Uh, I am simply an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ, super excited about the assignment that the Lord has me on. That means that I am a good news carrier of his gospel. Well, you already know today is Friday. It's our day of prayer where we come together and we agree with the people of God. We agree with the word of God concerning our faith and what we're believing and trusting God to do. And so, you know, on Friday, we just go right into prayer. Um, and so I am going to, before I get started, so that I don't have to individualize names, I'm going to touch and agree with every person that has reached out to me today uh, for prayer. I want you to know the Bible says that once we're confident that God has heard us, that we can rest assured that our prayer is not only heard, but it is answered. So we couple faith with you on the day. Let us go before the throne of grace. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, uh, for allowing us this time to come together to touch and agree in prayer with this, your people. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. We thank you, Lord God, for the liberty to be able to come together and touch and agree with the people of God through the word of faith, knowing that it shall be unto us just like you said. God, so I ask that you forgive us of any of our sins or all of our sins. If there is anything that we've done, said, or any way that we've acted that is not pleasing in your sight, we ask for your forgiveness now. And Lord, I ask that you just allow this prayer to go forth to reach the people of God. I understand, Lord, that our nation is at a place of unrest and unease. But Lord, you are the author and you are the finisher of our faith. So God, first and foremost, I pray for our governmental structure. I pray, Lord God, for, for the president. I pray for the vice president. I pray for um, our legislators. I pray for the senators, oh God. I pray, Lord God, for law enforcement. I pray for our legal system, oh God. I pray, Lord God, that this unrest that is just running rampant in the land, that you would heal us, oh God, that you would bring us to a place of peace. Lord, your word declares that <clears throat> we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers uh, in darkness, against the spiritual host of wickedness in heavenly places. So Father, we bring down those uh, domains and those territories on today. And Lord, we release a word of peace. We release a word of victory. We release, oh God, an anointing of harmonious relationship. Lord, where the, the bodies and the government can come together and see things the way you see it and not have their own hidden agendas, oh God. Lord Jesus, you said, if my people which are called by my name but humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then you would hear from heaven, you would forgive our sins, and you would heal our land. Lord, our land needs to be healed. We need a deliverance. We need a revival in the land, oh God. And so, Father, we come together today and we couple faith knowing that you are a prayer hearing and a prayer answering God. And God, I pray for unity. I pray for peace. I pray for governmental order, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for a calm in this nation. We need you to move your mighty hand, oh God. Lord, we don't need to war against each other, but we need to fight this demonic force that is trying to bring division and, and, and a huge device in the land. But God, you made this world, you made this earth, you created all of us in and after your um, image and after your likeness. And so God, I know that you will hear and you will answer prayer. So Father, we stand today bringing down those strongholds, bringing down those principalities, bringing down those powers, bringing down spiritual wickedness in high places. Lord, we're not fighting each other, but we're fighting this 
warfare that's going on. And so, Father, we take authority right now in the name of Jesus, and we stand firm on your word. Lord, you said in your word that we could put you in remembrance of your word. So we put you in remembrance of your word on today that you would heal this land. So, Father, we put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles and the devices of the enemy's plan, his structure. We pull that down right now, oh God. But we thank you that you've given us power, you've given us dominion, and you've given us authority over all the works of the enemy. I thank you, Lord God, that we know how to operate in that authority, that place of power. And Father, we stand firm in that on today. We thank you, Lord God, because when you died on the cross, you gave us the answer to every problem, to every circumstance and every situation. And Father, for that, we say thank you. We thank you, Lord God, that you will continue, Lord God, to bring us to a place of understanding, to a place of compassion. Now, Lord, I pray for um, our health care workers. I pray, Lord God, for our emergency staff workers. I pray for our hospital systems, oh God. I pray for doctors on today. I pray for nurses. I pray for CNA workers. Lord God, that you will just keep them well, oh God, and don't allow them to be so stressed out. But Father, give them rest in what they're doing to keep all of us safe, oh God. Refresh their spirits, refresh their minds. So Lord, with that, I come against the spirit of suicide, oh God. And I pray, Lord God, that you will open up their mind and let them know that you are the author and the finisher of their faith. So we speak life to them. We speak strength. We speak fresh courage. Um, in their lives on today. We thank you for refreshing their spirits. Lord God, we pray for every person that has taken the COVID virus um, injection. Um, so Lord, we speak healing. Lord God, we just come against all of the um, complications. And we speak, Lord God, that our bodies are able to tolerate um, the vaccination, that, that we can move forward, oh God, um, from this sickness, this illness, this disease. Lord, you are the healer. You said by your stripes, we are already healed. So Lord God, we come against those side effects and we speak healing. We speak, Lord God, that our immune system will line up and 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 comply with the with the vaccination oh god that we will be okay so father we thank you um for healing us god and delivering us and setting us free lord i pray for uh, the ones that have said that i'm dealing with cancer i'm dealing with diabetes hypertension i'm dealing with high cholesterol i'm dealing with my immune system being just out of whack so father we lord we speak healing today in the name of Jesus, we speak healing to the mind. Lord, we bind oppression and depression. We we bind, Lord God, um, that spirit that will cause us to feel that nobody cares. And so, Lord, we release a word of love on today. We release a word of faith and healing. Lord, I know that you will hear and that you will answer prayer. So, Father, for that, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor on today. I thank you, Lord, that even... Uh, for this nation, God. You know, when we were, were coming up, we, we learned, Lord, the pledge allegiance um, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lord, I ask you to bring us back to the moral values of our country, of our nation, that when we say that, not only do we pledge allegiance to the flag, but we pledge our allegiance to you. You, oh God, are the author and the finisher of our faith. So Lord, don't allow us to be sidetracked. Side don't allow us, Lord God, to be derailed from our faith. You said that a nation that forgets their God, Lord, that means that when we forget you, that we have already inflicted injustice and trouble in our land. But Lord, we want to remember you on this day that you have given us the grace and the ability to walk up right before you and to serve you. And so, Father, I thank you that. Lord, refresh in our faith. Re -strength, re give us fresh strength on today. Lord, I, I, I thank you for what you're doing. Lord, and I know that we're not going to always agree on everything. But Lord, there is a harmonious line that we can come to and be agreeable that you are the author and 
the finisher of our faith. So Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I thank you, Lord, because your word declares that when we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, that we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And we can say of the Lord, He is our refuge. He is our strength. Lord, you are our strong tower. You are our fortress. You are our protection on today. You are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our Jehovah Nisi. You are our Jehovah Shalom. You are Jehovah Tzikotnu. You are Jehovah Adonai. Lord, so I thank you for doing great things in and through us. Lord, bring us back to the foot of the cross. That's where our peace is. That's where our victory is. That's where our confidence is. That's where our strength is. It is back at the foot of the cross, at the cross of Calvary. As the songwriter said, it was at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. So Father, I thank you for healing this land. Lord, I am a voice that's asking you to heal the land, oh God, that we not war against one another, but we come together and we begin to declare the word of God. Lord, I believe that as your word said that life and death are in the power of the tongue. So we begin to speak victory. We begin to speak healing. Lord, we're not speaking division, division but we're speaking unity that we all begin to speak the words of God and we declare peace over this country and over this nation. Now, Lord, I thank you for healing us. I thank you for delivering us. I thank you for keeping us. And I thank you, Lord God, for setting us free from all the bondages of the mindsets and the evilness of this world. Lord, you are our father. You are our creator. You are our maker, oh God. And the heart of man will always cry back out to the creator, the maker of mankind. So Father, I release a word of healing. I release a word of peace. I release a word of love. I release a piece of a word of peace, harmony, and unity on today that we can walk in agreement that you will do exceeding and great things uh, in this land. Father, I thank you for hearing and answering this prayer. If there's anyone under the sound of my voice that is not saved, save them on today, heal them, deliver them, and set them free. Now, Father, I thank you that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart that it is acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, let all of God's people say amen. Again, I am Apostle Esther. I'm simply an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. Super excited about the assignment that the Lord has me on. I want you to have an amazing day. I wanna thank you in advance for sharing, liking, and subscribing to my content. We are here every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Again, 10 o'clock on Friday is our day of prayer that we're super excited to agree with you that God will do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. Have an amazing day. We'll be back on next week with more good news gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Apostle Esther. Know that Apostle Christopher Sanctius and I love you with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have an amazing day. God bless you.